I'd like to pray after a talk, if you don't mind. I'd love to do that, and then we can go on with the program. So if you'll join me in this spiritual mind treatment, just closing your eyes, allowing yourself to be supported by the chair beneath you, breathing in the beautiful scent of this beautiful community, knowing that that power and that presence is forever individuating itself over and over again in glorious ways. I trust that as we move through our week this week, that we will continue to listen for that subtle, subtle voice of the spirit, of the soul calling us forward, calling us forward to love, to joy, to acceptance, to freedom, calling us forward to who we have come here to be. It is with a joy-filled heart that I speak this word, that I know this highest truth for myself and for each one within the sound of my voice. For I know that God, Spirit, that thing that makes the grass grow is forever beckoning us forward, longing for us as we long for it. And so I know for each one, the courage, the courage to be authentic, the courage to be true, the courage to love deeply. It is with a joy-filled and surrendered heart that I speak this word, knowing this highest truth and knowing it is the law. It is the law that carries us the heavy burden. It is we who simply are willing. And I anchor this prayer in that same willingness and love as we say together, and so it is.